The changing roles of actors in the transition of information value chain to the information value pie. The first generations of ITS had a linear information flow. There were vehicles on the road and the competent road operators or road authority, for example the police, monitored traffic in their traffic control centers. They used inductive loop data, analog cameras and some specific detectors for height and width of passing vehicles. Based on this information, the traffic center takes measures for safety and fluent traffic. The related information is provided to the road users directly via roadside equipment. Then, traffic information service providers stepped forward with new, fancy services like RDS-TMC. The service providers needed data in electronic format from the traffic control centers to automate these real-time services. This was the first digitalization step of road traffic information. Then, service providers started widening their services to the road user by combining content from different sources. Traffic information was combined with other kinds of relevant information to the road user. The need for standardization of electronic processable data became obvious and was taken up by each actor in the value chain. Then came the delegated act on ITS. They instigate the setup of national access points for several types of traffic information, providing traffic data according to European standards. These EU regulations aim to accelerate the development of interoperable services to end-users throughout Europe. In the domain of advanced traffic information and individual navigation services, a new type of actor emerged – service access points. They managed the information provisions to the road user and vehicle from different service providers in an efficient and effective way. The devices used by cars and travellers do not need a direct relation with the service providers anymore, but can shop for the service that suits their needs or wallet best. Like the real world, it became obvious that the ITS world is not flat. Technological innovations make that all actors in this value chain can communicate with each other in a reliable and efficient way. So therefore it is better to present the world as a circle. And now a gap becomes obvious. The direct digital communication from the road operators to the car is not in place. The digital exchange of information for which they're primarily responsible, ensuring safety and taking measures, is lacking. The CITS technology enables this, and we see that the roadside stations are developed to support this. The line became the ITS world. However, the circle also brings a big challenge. Consistency and reliability of information throughout the value chain needs to be ensured. The upper right third of the circle is primarily the domain of the road operator. They have developed an extensive standard, DATEX2. In DATEX2, all relevant details of traffic information and traffic management can be expressed, with the focus on providing an as complete information view of the road as feasible. The upper left third of the circle is the domain of the content and service aggregators. The leading standard is TPEG, a standard developed primarily to enable the consistent provision of traffic and traffic-related information to end users across several media. Here, bandwidth efficiency and consistent behavior of the user interface are key assets. In the lower third of the circle, the main actors are the service providers and the OEMs. The main standards here are again TPEG combined with the specific CITS standards developed under ETSI mandate. Here, bandwidth and exchange reliability are key elements for success. Each and every standard has very good reasons for existence and fulfills requirements for that specific piece of the value cake. Nevertheless, all are representing about the same real-world objects – roads, cars, accidents, measures, etc. So therefore we need to manage the consistency of information when it passes one of the domain borders and is transformed respecting the being from each other. We want this to work and create reliable end-user services, either serving the vehicle or the driver support system. So these systems must be able to recognize that what he receives from the roadside station is about the same real-world incident as what is received from the service providers. 
Only then can it process and present this information adequately and in a non-disturbing way to the end user. For example, the driver should not be warned about objects on the road two or three times because the car receives such a message from the roadside, from RDS TMC, and from his or her HD traffic subscription. Datex2, TISA, the Amsterdam Group, and in the near future also C-Roads, will work together to develop harmonized hybrid profiles that ensure continuity of services along the domain borders.